Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the engineering center. I'm Angel Ruiz, and I'm a mechatronics technician. Uh, these are the topics I will talk about today. Uh, first, I'm going to present the internal design of the facility. We have three different levels which are the engineering bay, the sleeping quarters, the telecommunication and logistics center. The telecommunications and logistics center is on the third floor. Uh, and this floor is divided into four. Uh, the electrical power uh, system area, the database center, the software and system area, and finally the telecommunication systems area. The main objective of this facility floor is to maintain the functionality of the visit of the, the vital systems and have the communication outside and inside of Habitat Marte. The sleeping quarters are on the second floor. This floor is divided, divided into four two. Uh, the dormitory area, the kitchen and dining room, the garden area, and the bathroom. The main objective of this facility floor is to provide a personal space to rest, eat, and suffice general necessities. And the last area is the engineering bay that is, that is on the first floor. This floor is divided a little differently uh, than the second and the third floor uh, because in this area we have the vehicle garage and the, and, the, and this needs more space. Then we have the maintenance and repair center, the 3D painting, printing area, and last, the most important area in this facility, the money, monitoring uh, center. Okay, uh, we, let's talk about uh, the technologies necessary for the uh, operation of the facility. Uh, first, we have the general uh, monitoring center. Uh, in general terms, this area is going to need computers, power stations, and specialized machine monitoring systems. Then we have the maintenance and repair center. This center will use electronic and mechanical testers, mechanical tools, tools uh, uh, and tools for uh, electronic uh, devices. Uh, then the garden area. Uh, for this area, we will need a complete a sprinkler system, a plant sign, uh, vital sign monitoring system, and plant pruning tools. Uh, next, uh, we have the electrical and telecommunication centers. Uh, because the, uh, uh, this is going to need uh, antennas, electric transformers, and sensors. Probably uh, it will uh, need more things because this is uh, the most important area. So uh, probably this area is going to be the most expensive area in this facility too. Last, we have the database and system center. Uh, we will need servers, routers, and network equipment equipment for this area. We have two different uh, options to get resources uh, to the habitat. The first one is to transport uh, to transport it uh, from the air, and the second one is to generate it on Mars. Um, okay, let's talk about the management. Uh, the head of the crew uh, will be an aerospace or aeronautical engineer. Uh, uh, then we have uh, uh, the mechatronical, the mechatronics engineer, the data or the systems engineer, the telecommunication, uh, telecommunication uh, engineer. Uh, and these three are in the same hierarchy. 
Um, then uh, the profile of the aerospace or, or aeronautical engineer is um, uh, it, uh, is um, this uh, the strong uh, technical knowledge of aerospace systems and manufacturing, uh, the ability to think creatively and be innovative, innovative, uh, particularly uh, when we when we need to develop uh, some designs. Um, but the principal uh, characteristic uh, he needs to have is a uh, love of aviation, aircraft, and flight technology. The duties uh, of the aerospace or aeronautical engineer are uh, using mathematics, uh, scientific, or engineer principles to design and repair facilities, uh, reviewing, developing, and improving production methods, methods, facilities, and safety uh, regulations. Uh, also, uh, the aerospace uh, engineer need to uh, write and design report uh, manuals and other, and other technical documents. Uh, I wanted to wave uh, with the profile of, and duties of the engineer uh, and the, uh, sorry, and um, of the um, aerospace and aeronautical engineer, due to he will uh, be the head of the crew. So then we have the mechatronics uh, engineer profile that uh, he will need to have problem solving skills, uh, knowledge in computers and electronics, designing skills, and strong math skills. Then we have uh, the mechatronic, uh, one of the, uh, his duties. Uh, he needs to solve uh, technical problems and maintain automated um, mechanical equipment. Then we have the profile of the data and system or system engineer. Uh, this uh, need, uh, when he needs to uh, have so prob problem solving skills logic and reasoning uh, uh, skills, oral and writing communication skills. Uh, his duties are uh, assessing, uh, designing, upgrading, and maintaining uh, systems, determining problems, uh, providing solutions uh, to issues that arise. Uh, then we have the telecommunications uh, engineer profile. Uh, he needs to have uh, problem solving skills like all the uh, re uh, all the engineers, uh, logic and reasoning uh, skills and strong math skills. Uh, his duties are the designing and installing telecommunication equipment and facilities such as electronic uh, switching systems. Then we have uh, then the crew uh, will have to take an astronaut training program that is uh, broken down into first uh, new skills based on situations in the identified on Mars. Second, uh, the, the systems operation. Third, the project management training. Fourth, the general uh, station safety protocols. And fifth, the simulations of different type of problems that could be presented on Mars. To keep our crews healthy, the nutrition is important. Here we have the average amount of water, food, and general consumption resources that they need in a week to remain healthy. Uh, for example, the, the food that the astronaut needs for a week is one kilogram per day uh, and, and the, oxy the, the oxygen he needs is 1.85 uh, libras. Uh, this facility is going to provide uh, average data of all systems and facilities in Habitat Marty. 
uh, a specific data of all, of all systems facilities in Habitat Marte, new project designs, progress in the investigations presented by all the facilities, software and hardware needed for the operation of Habitat Marte, and daily communication reports. Uh, this is with the aim uh, of maintaining coordinated and functional the habitat marking. Then we have the protocols. Um, these uh, protocols are like a, a more general protocols. First, we have the engineering emergency, emergency protocol, the data collection and analysis protocol, uh, the simulation, the communication reporting, and the protocol of the evaluation uh, of the projects and repairs we, uh, we did in the facility. Uh, the safety and health entertainment and food micro production uh, protocols uh, are given uh, or uh, yes, um, by the main station. Uh, then we have the third, uh, print, uh, the 3D print, uh, printing protocols. Uh, this, uh, the first point of this is the pre-printing uh, design and measurement. Then we have the selection of the material to print. Uh, um, a low cost material that is resistant to a certain point is the PLA. And third, we have the post printing measurement. This point is like the evaluation of the or piece that we printed. Then we have the spin ups. Uh, uh, we have the technologies and output that uh, could be applied to the air. Uh, first, we have the technologies for sleep, uh, the technologies for learn learning the 3D printing technologies uh, using uh, Mars-based materials. These technologies will be very helpful uh, as they uh, were optimized by the crew and we know they work. Uh, then we have uh, the guidelines to be applied to daily life on Earth. Uh, these are uh, the efficient uh, farming method. Uh, second, we, are, we have the health method. Th third, the quality. Fourth, the water saving culture. Five, clean energy methods. And last, we have the partnership. Um, we have, um, uh, we, I decide to put this uh, sustainable development goals because um, they work in the Habitat Marty and I'm probably um, is an 80% sure that they will work on Earth. Uh, these are the sustainable development goals. I, I put uh, as eight and for last we have the references. Um, and this is my personal contact uh, information. Thank you uh, for your attention and that's all.